welcome to Train Simulator Classic, and today I got something really cool to show ya. And this woman just walked right in front of me. Now, a very long time ago, I made a reskin out of this 3F Ginty to turn it into Thomas the Tank Engine. And the reason why I used a 3F Ginty is because there is actually uh, a Ginty out there that is actually painted like Thomas the Tank Engine. But recently, I've made a video about the Caledonian Works U-Class. And back when I was very young at the Midhance Railway, or the Watercrest Line, you can pronounce it how you want, I did see a U-Class, but it was painted as James the Red Engine. Now, because I have such a weird brain, I have a little idea. Now, I just want to say to Caledonian Works, uh, you might hate me for this, or you might actually think, Oliver, that's actually a really good idea. So about seven and a half hours of reskinning, uh, I've made this. Bosh, the Caledonian Works U-Class James the Red Engine. Now, I have to be honest, it was probably one of the hardest reskins I've ever done, but... Uh, I'm really pleased about this. I mean, it's not actually 100% perfect, but like, you know, if you look at all the pictures out there on Google, I mean, if you just Google uh, the U-Class uh, James, you will find some cool looking pictures. But again, it's not 100% accurate. Like the number five, for example, you guys might think it's a little bit too small, but the problem is I can't actually make it bigger. That is the biggest I can actually make the number five. And do you know what I'm thinking right now, my friends? Test drive. Yes! So here we are in the cab of James the Red Engine. <laughs> I'm so excited because this was the train uh, I grew up with at the Watercrest Line when I was a kid. But when I was little, every time I thought about the Watercrest Line, I thought about this engine. So by pressing J and releasing the brakes and putting the reverser, I'd say about, mm, I'd say 40%. Uh, I think we are ready to leave. So let's do a nice little toot of the whistle. <laughs> and let's set off. Here we go. And we've got the, uh, the thin controller. I don't know why he's here. I mean, this is not one of your engines. And he's also standing in the flower bed. Get off my flowers! I put them there to make the station look nice and he's just standing on my flowers! Anyway, let's not worry about the flowers. I mean, I'll sort them out later. Uh, we're gonna get our train moving. Ooh, sound effects are amazing. So we're gonna speed uh, the regulator up a bit. Just move it up slightly. Lovely. Beautiful. Come on, James. Or the Yukon. I mean, what am I gonna call it? James or the Yukon? I'm gonna call it James because, like, you know, it's... Like, you know, one is my brother's name, and second of all, it's James the Red Engine Reskin. Right, so now we're moving at a very calm, steady pace. We're leaving out the station. We get, like, some, you can see if we've got some really cool shots. Oh, yes, we've got some cool shots. So goodbye, uh, the uh, Thomas the Tank Engine Ginty. And we are on our way. And yes, you guessed it. This is the uh, route I'm currently working on at the moment. I've uh, done a lot of progress since you guys last saw it. Yes, I have. I mean, obviously, there's not much I've done here yet, but there will be. You guys will see this now, and then in a few weeks later, once we come to this area again, you'll probably look at like, ooh, Oliver, you've done a lot of good work there. Yeah. Oh, and I've almost forgot the uh, the discs. So holding down control and then pressing four and six, we can now have the uh, the, the, the white discs on the front. <laughs> I can't believe it. For ages, I've been uh, looking for a U-Class to, to reskin into James the Red Engine, and I finally have done it. I want to get, a, like, a wheel shot. Let's have a get a wheel shot. Yes. All right, we've got, like, a nice uh, foot plate shot as well. Well, side plate, whatever you call it. I'm not sure. Um, got a front shot, which looks very nice. And we get, like, a nice wheel shot. <laughs> I love the way how you can get a wheel shot from Caledonian Works' as locomotives. That's what that's what I really like about Caledonian Works' as locos. Is you get, like, a beautiful wheel shot. I don't know why all uh, train developers do this. And also, what I like about it is, like, when you're inside, you can actually see the whole, like, redness of uh, on the boiler. I think it's fantastic. What's our speed now? Doing 43.9 miles per hour. This is probably the fastest. No, 44 miles per hour. I think this is probably the fastest I've ever gotten the U-Class. Right, we're going to pass the first station, but we are not stopping. We're just going to go blasting right through it. Do a nice long two at the whistle. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, because the sunlight is shining on this side, it really makes the red so bright and it really makes it pop. This is actually one of my greatest reskins I've ever done. I mean, I may make some stupid, pointless, crazy stuff, but I try and do a good job about it. Yes, I do. I mean, I'm really proud of how the tender has turned out. The tender looks absolutely amazing. I'm really proud of the tender. Well, I'm proud of the whole thing. Oh, going the wrong way. I'm proud of the whole thing. Like, the dome, the stripes, everything. I mean, this is just... I'm, I'm generally, generally, generally proud of how all of this has turned out. You know, from a distance, I was a little bit worried that the number five might be a little bit too small. But do you know what? No, I, I, I disagree now. I think the number five is like the perfect size um, for the whole thing. It it looks amazing. It sounds amazing. Bosh! I'm I'm so proud of how this has turned out. I mean, looking at the coal effects as well on the, on the top of the tender looks fantastic. And the sunlight, I mean, I know I keep pressing the wrong buttons, but from this side, I mean, yes, it looks a bit dark because, like, you know, the red changes colour depending on what the shadowing and the lighting and stuff. But on the other side, like, look at that! I mean, the red really does generally pop. I mean, I'm... I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. This has turned out a lot better than I thought it would be. And what is our speed now? We're doing uh, nearly 50 miles per hour. And I have built a new uh, platform here, which uh, which I still need to work on. I mean, I, I have um, put a lot more effort and detail into this route, but not exactly finished yet. But, like, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. And we are doing a lovely 50 miles per hour. Now, if I go quickly go to the map, because I need to sort out the points. Now, I think um, because James is... Going at some tremendous speed. I think we should have him on the express line. So, I think, yeah, I think that's the line we want to travel on once we uh, get to the main line. Because at the moment, we're on the branch line and we want to get to the main line. I mean, we're losing quite a bit of PSI, but we're doing 50.2 miles per hour. This is the fastest I've ever got in the U class, and I'm not joking. I mean, we are starting to go uphill now, but I mean, that's fine. That's, that's fine. I mean, steam trains don't necessarily do very well uphill. But I do want some feedback, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below of this video. And, you know, just let me know what you guys think. Like, like you know, 10 being the best or 1 being absolutely rubbish, Oliver. You've wasted your time. It's a rubbish reskin. Just get rid of it. But please let me know in the comment section down below. Like, do you guys like this reskin? Um, is there anything you, um, like, would, would do differently? Is there anything you want me to change about it? Or just, just just give me your honest opinion. Just say, Oliver, this is actually really good. You've done so well. Um, congr congratulations. Congratulations! And I'll tell you what, like, from the tender view, like, looking at the whole, like, train itself, like, you can tell it definitely looks like James, like, just from the tender and the boiler. Okay, now normally I would slow down for this, but because James is a little bit of a clumsy engine, uh, he's a bit of a daredevil, isn't he? So um, we're not going to slow down. We're going to go speeding right down this hill and go extremely fast. Yes, get some speed going. I mean, obviously the only thing I'm missing is the face, but that's 3D modelling. I mean, I, I can't do 3D modelling, guys. But if you guys know anyone out there who can actually put a face on this... Um, please let them know and get them to contact me and um, see if we can organise something. Because I would really like to put some faces on my uh, Thomas the Tank Engine reskins that I make. I have got quite a few. Do you know what? Maybe I should actually turn this room into the Island of Sodor. Because, like, it does, got, it does have that weird, like, Sodor vibe to it, doesn't it? Just, just, just a little bit. I want to get another pass-by shot. So if we actually, like, stand... By the platform. You know, just, you know, having a lovely day. Just waiting for me to train. Looking at me what? I don't actually have a watch on me at the moment. But, um, yeah, waiting for me to train. And here, all of a sudden, here comes James the Red Engine. Oh, my God, that that looks so amazing in this lighting. Nice long toot the whistle. Oh, yes. Oh, that is beautiful. And the coach has worked so well with James. I, I cannot think of any other locomotive out there that would pull off a Fantastic James. I think the U-Class is the perfect loco to sort of make a replica James. If I mean, that's just my opinion. But if you guys have any other, like, cool locos that would make a 
good replica of a James, then you know, please let me know in the comment section down below. But again, me personally, I think the U-Class would be a, well, is a perfect James. Okay, I'm just looking straight ahead and it's all clean sailing to the end of the line. So if I go on the map again, and I need to figure out which platform I'm going to be on. So let me just have a look at the map. Because uh, it says here I'm going to be on this platform. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly that's exactly the platform I wanted. In fact, we should start thinking about slowing down soon. I need to name these stations as well. I haven't actually named these stations yet. I mean, maybe I should base this off the island of Soda or maybe call it Natford. Nah. Alrighty, so I'm going to apply a little bit of braking, but not too much, because we don't want to stop stop, st 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 stop so suddenly. That was quite uh, tricky for me to actually say. Stop so suddenly. It was quite that was quite a tricky one, that one. So we get it down to about 30-ish miles per hour. I think I'll do just fine. Do another two at the whistle. Lovely. I can't, be I can't believe how much... The red, like, absolutely pops on the on the U-Class. It, it, it looks fantastic. I was thinking of reskinning the U-Class with the smoke deflectors, but I decided, nope, 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 dib, 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 dib. I would like to actually make the proper U-Class that was based off the Watercrest line many years ago. I mean, the, the, the James the Red Engine, I remember, never had any smoke deflectors. And that's why I wanted to base it off. So I'm glad I chose this. This is a... A cracking result. Just to let the signalman know that I am approaching uh, the station. And I would like to have a platform set aside for me. Now, obviously, there's some um, coaches and a wagon in my way. So, I'm going to go into the platform next to it. I think that will do just nicely for me. Yes, I think so. Fly brakes just a little bit more. I think I'm going to go in first person for this. I'm going to switch, uh, switch track. We're coming into the station nice and steady. Nice and steady. There we go. Apply brakes a bit more. A little bit more. And a little bit more. Fantastic. Um, I think we can uh, press J once now because we don't need to feed any water to the boiler. Look at all these people. Look at how many people there are. Okay, here we go. James, we're approaching our final stop. Ha! And look at that. We're on platform five. We're on platform five. I had, no, I did not plan that out. I swear. I, did, I forgot that this was platform five. I did not plan that out. It's all five today. Fantastic. Okay, apply brakes a little bit more. I think stopping it just about here will do just nicely, I think. Right about there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's just zoom out a bit. Oh, that looks that looks so cool. That looks so 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 cool. I mean, I keep saying this, but I'm generally pleased with how this turned out. I mean, again, there are one or two like you know rough little details that like you know it's 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 lacking. But apart from that, I think I've done a good job. Well, that concludes this video, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. And also head over to the LazyJet website and buy some LazyJet merch if you want to. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day and I will see you guys again next time. See you soon.